let's explore a few magic constants in PHP. Each of the magic constants in PHP starts with two underscores, followed by all uppercase letters, and finishing up with two underscores again. We'll explore line, file, dir for directory, function, class, trait, method, and namespace. So this is where we ended off last time. And up here, I put a little note. These are the magic constants that we're gonna be looking at. So I think for this example, I'm gonna remove this bottom declaration. I'm also gonna remove this Lamborghini 2, and then we can start off from here. So what I'll do is inside some of these methods that we're calling like get your make and model, I think that's a perfect opportunity to use some of these magic constants. So let's go into Lamborghini. Lamborghini extends car, and we'll go into car, and then I think at the bottom of either car, yep, get your make model. So there is the method that we're calling, and that's inside car. So we want to return this entire thing, and then we're gonna start appending some additional stuff. So we'll say, we'll put a little break tag, and then we also want to return the line. The line dot line, or actually better yet, a line number. So let's go open this up, hit refresh. So there we go, line 204. Now what is that line 204? Well, that's this line inside of our code. So on line 204, this is where this is being called. Let's look at some of the other magic constants. So the next one that we're gonna look at is file, file, underscore, underscore, file, hit refresh. And we're looking at the complete location to our file that's calling that underscore underscore file. So the absolute path. So this is where car.php lives. It's inside this absolute path right there. And I think what else I'm gonna do is just add a little break tag. Forgot a period or concatenation operator. So there we go, file is that. And I think what I'm gonna do is for the rest of these, I'm just gonna copy this over so that it's easier to see. So we'll add break tag again. We'll look at the directory which is just dir, followed by another break tag, followed by the function. Well, actually, before we call function, let's go ahead and take a look at the directory. So the directory is just everything up until the file name. So that's where the file is, and this is what directory it's located in. And I think for everything else, for the most part, we can kind of take a look at. So let's say class should be car. So we'll say class. And then we'll skip trait for now. We'll say method. So this is the method and then the namespace. All right, so let's take a look at which each one of these will produce. If we hit refresh, so the class is the actual class name, which our class is called car, followed, you know, prepended by the whole namespace. So it's saying car within magic constants, vehicles, cars. And by the way, I added this magic constants before vehicles virtual directory so that there's no conflict in PHP because I did a copy over all the files. The method, it's saying within the car class, we're calling the get your make and model method. And then the namespace, that's the namespace, which is right before this car class up here, the virtual directory that we saw. So magic constants, vehicles, cars. So the only thing we haven't looked at is the trait. So let's see what happens if we try to do the trait inside here. So we'll say trait, and if we hit refresh, we get nothing because this is not a trait. The trait is located, for example, inside of our engine. So let's say echo that trait is underscore underscore trait. Still not gonna be anything. We're just gonna go ahead and remove this from here. So if we hit refresh, still nothing because we haven't called that method yet. But if we call it, we can say something like Lamborghini. There's a check engine oil level. Is that where we put it? Inside the engine, it looks like it. And we go over here, hit refresh. Now it says engine oil level good, trait, and then which trait it's located in. It's inside this namespace and then the trait itself is called engine. That's exactly like calling a class, but in this case, we called a trait, which is termed engine. And it looks like we covered all of the magic constants. So yeah, I mean, they're, they're just there to exist. I mean, most of the time you would use this when you want to diagnose some stuff to make sure everything's getting called properly, or if you're doing some kind of error reporting, 
that in that case you want to dynamically say like hey this is coming from this point that's on this line this is where this error is occurring so these will come in handy uh, at that point in time now of course there's all kinds of other uses for these and you will see them all throughout your programming career especially stuff like the dir and possibly even the methods stuff like that you're going to see those all the time